So carried away by the details of the close-up task of my previous video I literally forgot like I completely omitted one of the highlights from the pool party last night yes I mean guys ah, how could I have made such such a huge mistake anyways um, if you haven't seen my previous video yet please go ahead and watch it after you're done watching this one all right um, on that video I shared details of the close-up task which was beautiful to watch. I also shared details of the altercation that had happened between Cross and the Lebaye, also in a way involving CC during the pool party, all right? So um, if you want to catch up on all of that GCT, you totally need to watch that video, okay? Now, on this video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, the details of Mercy's moment with Pere and white money. Yeah, you must have seen the clip already, yes, but um, I'm going to give you an in-depth analysis from my point of view about that situation because it was the pool party, music was loud, we could only see, we could not hear what was being said. So please make sure you watch to the end of this video, do not skip out on any part, all right? Um, and also I look forward to hearing your thoughts about that situation, mercy situation with these two guys, all right? So just go ahead and share. In the comment section below and you are all specially welcome to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with gloria elijah and i am the girl with the t uh, for those of you that are yet to subscribe please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen please subscribe turn on your post notification bell to always receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one now quickly let's get into it last night during the pool party Mercy are taking position inside the pool as usual. We know that during the pool party, Mercy is never really comfortable dancing on the grass. Mm. It's like she has this love-hate relationship with the grass. So her comfort zone is inside the water. So she was inside the water as usual and doing her usual thing, which is I mean, come on guys, let's not pretend like we haven't noticed that that is one of Mercy's favorite things to do during the pool party. So anyways, she was doing what she enjoys doing, you know, during the pool party. And um, there was Pere inside the pool. Um, there was also white money. Initially, most of his pool were not inside the pool. Initially, it was just Pere that was inside the pool. And then um, later on, um, as per the unwritten tradition of the house you know after all the housemates had spent much time on the grass they had you know gone into the pool into the water you know to have some fun as well now mercy at first gone ahead to play mm, play with Perry. now because of all the chaos that was happening between cross and ilebaye and cc um, there, there wasn't enough focus on both of them. But the moment the cameras landed on those two people, what Gloria Elijah saw was Pere sort of carrying Mercy, you know, on his hips, right? Inside the water and their face was sort of locked um, against the other person's face. Like their face was sort of gelled together and one can only imagine that they were actually kissing. Because come on, what would they be talking about with both their faces like this, you know? So you could sense that they were actually kissing. You could sense that they were having an intimate moment. And it went on like that for a bit. And then later on, not even later on, I think almost immediately, Mercy had moved on from Pere. She had floated on the, on the, uh, on the water for a bit. And then she had moved on to White Money, who was on the other side of the pool. So you know how the pool is, right? Perry was on this side, and there was, um, who's, who was there? There was somebody that was there, I can't remember the name of the person right now, but there was someone there, and then she had moved on to White Money on this other side. Now, White Money was in the crook of the pool, and she had gone on to, you know, sort of climb on him guys see I'm, I'm trying to choose my words carefully with this description because hey mercy shall gave me something to talk about last night so she had gone to white money and he had sort of carried her the same way perry had carried her earlier the only difference is she had 
spent more time on white money's body. Now, at some point, you could see her leaning in for a kiss. She would lean in, she would lean out. She would lean in, lean out. And then other times it would look like she would snatch a quick kiss from him and you know withdraw and guys it just continued like that it continued like that on and on and on and whilst that was happening i noticed that para was just literally doing his own thing like the guy did not even bother at all it wasn't yeah he wasn't bothered yeah it, was, it wasn't bothered really guys even even with the way i'm even saying that he wasn't bothered i'm actually bothered because i can't imagine kissing a female housemate as a guy if i were a guy and I, I'm turning my eyes and I'm seeing the female housemate kissing another guy. And then later on, she'll come and kiss me again. And then we'll now have Saturday night party and then she'll now kiss again. Nah. Very unhygienic. I mean, I'm not saying that these guys have mouth odor. No. I'm not saying that their breath stinks or anything. No. But guys like really you want to be kissing multiple partners in one night seriously nah and you see yeah whilst mercy was in her element because hey let's call this video spade that is mercy's element it, 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 it might seem as though that is the only way she has chosen to give us highlights this season yes no fightings no shoutings just you know still kisses here and there from different guys that are interested in the house yeah so whilst she was in her element doing what she enjoys doing best guys the only thing that kept on running through my mind was Ibuka's questions on Sunday because we also the tantrums that Mercy threw Sunday night last week after the live eviction show. This girl did not allow, I'm sure Ebuka would have been sneezing and gagging in his house Sunday night. Because this girl was calling Ebuka's name, she was quite upset. She was like, eh, why would Ebuka be asking her questions about her kissing people? That Are they not adults? Eh, can they not have the liberty to live in the moment, to do whatever they wanted to do? You know, like, is it new? Eh, Ebuka wants to spoil our relationship. I'm like, mm -mm, mercy. At this point, I don't think you have a relationship. <laughs> Except you do have a relationship and you probably had an agreement with your partner that okay i'm probably not going to shag in this house but i'm going to definitely kiss multiple guys i mean if that is a strategy then <laughs> i'm not really mad at it yes but what i'm really mad at is her tantrums and i'm thinking girl just shut up yeah if every car questions you about it <laughs> laugh <laughs> giggle and go ahead and even look for Big Brother to kiss him as well. Yeah, stop stop complaining about it. Stop making it look like Ebuka is trying to sabotage your game. I mean, what do you expect? That Ebuka should not talk about it? Is that what Mercy expects? So guys, I was just looking at Mercy here. I'm like, mm, auntie, give us. If you don't give us, how will we take it? If you don't give us, <laughs> how will Ebuka come and question you again? So Mercy, give us. Give us. And guys, you see, eh? I'm also looking forward to Saturday night because it's very obvious that White Money has a huge crush on Mercy. But Mercy is not in any way attracted to White Money in that manner. But it's very obvious that there's this chemistry between uh, Mercy and Perry all through this week. I've been watching both of them, the way they stare at each other, you know, the way Mercy shivers around Perry's presence. You know, Perry has that presence that sort of attracts women, you know, that sort of, it's very, very magnetic. I've never been in Perry's presence before, but you know, watching how some of these ladies, you know, get like they tremble, <laughs> they tremble in Perry's presence. I've seen that happen quite a number of times, you know, especially between Mercy and Perry. You know, when Perry is coming towards him, with um, towards her with his bare chest, you see her doing, hey, hey, Perry, I didn't hear Lana. I say, hey, hey. <laughs> oh God. Guys, yeah, Mercy is such a character. Always, always very, very interesting. But anyways, guys, for me, yo, I'm looking forward to seeing what Mercy would do on Saturday. Because it seems as though whenever there's a party, our alter ego comes out to play. And I really like that our alter ego because, hey, she's always giving us something to talk about. So I cannot wait to see what she's going to dish out this Saturday. Yeah, I cannot wait to see. And also, I cannot wait to hear Ibuka's questions about her on Sunday. And see, if I were Ibuka, 
I will question her again so that she will throw tantrums again. But anyways, we never know what Sunday holds with regards to the eviction process. So keep, let's keep our fingers crossed and see how it all pans out. But in the meantime, guys, what do you think about this game that Mercy is playing? Because I personally feel like it's a game and here's another angle to it. You see, these housemates are not dumb. They are fully aware that every Sunday during the live eviction show, for every question Ibuka throws at them, it means it is a sort of conversation or controversy outside the house. They understand that the viewers are talking about it. So for some of them, if it is a conversation that sort of exposes them in a negative way, they tend to kill what they are doing instantly. Now for others like Mercy, who understand how this game works, right? They will act like they're offended by Ibuka's questions but then they will continue. So personally, I feel like that is what Mercy is doing. She knows that she's not been giving highlights this season. She knows that she's not really been giving content this season. So all those kisses that she, you know, steals here and there, the fact that Ibuka questions her about it and has questioned her about it twice now, this girl is very smart. She is leveraging on that information. For her, that is like an indirect information saying that, Mercy, you're not doing much, but the little you're doing, keep at it. So that is the message Mercy is getting. Forget all the tantrums and whatever that she's throwing. That is the message she's getting, and she's heavily milking it. Guys, she's milking it because she knows that people are going to talk about it. So ladies and gentlemen, I must applaud her for being very consistent <laughs> in her kissing um, adventures, right? As I said before, I cannot wait to see what she will be doing on Saturday, all right? But in the meantime, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.